Hello Capricorn, welcome to a, a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates, leave the rest if it doesn't resonate 100%. Check out my playlist for Capricorn if you want to see more readings from me for your sign. It'll be pinned in the comments and up in the cards. So let's jump right in for Capricorn and Spirit. Angels, cards, messages for Capricorn when it comes to love and their particular connection. This reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, for Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn in love right now, Spirit? What's going on in their connection right now? Oh, wow, an unexpected event, revelation, upheaval, endings. Unexpected, shocking events have shaken things up. Okay, all right, what else? What else is happening? In this connection spirit. Give me some more insight for Capricorn. Give me some more insight, please, spirit for Capricorn. Rest in rejuvenation and contract. I feel like someone had to take a break from whatever happened or perhaps they just had to collect themselves. I don't know what happened here. Could have been something regarding like a legal situation, something official like in a government building or something to do with a commitment of some sort. So whatever happened was not, well obviously it was unexpected, but it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I feel like someone's still thinking about it or was really affected by it. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. Tell me more. Capricorn, please. Where am I this connection with this one? Mature woman. So feminine energy. Unexpected income and community. This could be something to do with like a family situation, maybe like a matriarch or some someone that um, a parent, a friend. This could also be you. Oh, I feel like this is going to be very specific. We'll see. Bottom of the deck, family room. Yeah, something's going on here within like a family unit or, or something like that. Let's see. And it's affecting your connection or it has something to do with your connection in some way. Spirit, tell me more. For Capricorn, please. What's going on for them? Oh, okay, if I could just get it together, that would be great. Ten of Pentacles, yes. Something to do with finances. This could also be like a will. Um, it could be something like a job offer. And it's unexpected. What's going on in this connection? I feel like multiple people are involved here. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Security, independence, something new, new st steps towards something new with the Page of Wands or some sort of communication. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse came out. I'm going to put these back, but interesting. Money is very important here. There's something to do with money and a family and for some reason even though there's a lot of love it's affecting the stability of a connection tell me about this nine of Pentacles why is the nine of Pentacles here what's this about 
Two of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. So there's some sort of communication here. Some sort of truth. Someone is making a decision based off of some news they've received. King of Wands reverse. And then the Ace of Swords. There's definitely some sort of communication taking place here. Some sort of truth that is very important. And it might have been a truth regarding someone's, I was going to say a bad word, F up. <laughs> That's the message. Someone really screwed up. And I feel like when someone else found out, they had to do something about it. They had to make a choice. What's this King of Wands reversed about? What happened here? With this King of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What happened with this King of Wands reverse? What happened here? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is all connected. What happened? Something with stability, finances, home, Four of Wands. Something happened at home. It could be something to do with an actual house because I have family room that came out as well. Can I get one more? My deck is just, we're gonna take them. Five of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of recovery in terms of like financial recovery or something to do with financial struggles. Someone mu must have made some sort of decision or mistake that affected finances or home life in some way. Tell me if this is resonating, Capricorn, because I feel this is very specific. This could even be um, something like a job that was um, accepted or rejected or a loan, a will, a trust, stocks, something like that. Tell me about, or it could also be a situation where someone could have gambled or said one thing and did another. Tell me about this page of wands. What's this about? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this page of wands. Justice. Again with the Justice card. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is now a bray after I've been shuffling. Yeah, there's something here to do with money, opportunity. Justice is like here after like a screw up over here. That's what I'm getting. The Devil reverse, Strength reverse, Six of Wands reverse, the Hierophant. Yeah, Leo, Capricorn, there you are, and the Taurus and Taurus energy. I feel like there was something that was not successful or... Um, I feel it was also very public for some of you. Um, a situation where someone probably didn't have the strength to deal with something head on or made a mistake because they were trying to take control or something like that. I feel like things are going to be okay. But I wonder how you feel about each other like after all of this has happened. Let's see. Tell me more for Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn and this other person. Tell me about Capricorn. There could be like a, a job offer taken or some sort of grant or loan or a gift or a win of money of some sort that I feel helps things along. Maybe uh, an older feminine energy helps out because I feel like there's something that like justice comes in or some someone comes in to help out. Tell me about Capricorn. This one. Frog, so rest, rejuvenation, that's what this is. Healing energy, renewal, cleansing. I feel like you're trying to heal, process what's happened. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Peacock, the peacock. Mm. Let me look at that real quick. The peacock is um, 
very interesting card in this deck. It's almost like someone that, um, uh, how do I say it? It reminds me a lot of the Nine of Pentacles, the Peacock, which we also got here, the, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, beauty that comes from within. This creature can assimilate all experiences in life. It does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain. Extremely rare. Very self-accepting, confident, secure in themselves. This is probably how some how this person's viewing you, or this could be, you know, their energy. They're very confident, maybe, that they can fix something or make something right. Um, of course, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. So let's see. Let's get another deck here. Nope. Tell me more. For Capricorn, please. So let's see. What are you thinking or feeling about each other? What's going on between you? I feel like this situation could be happening within your connection but i feel like for most of you this is happening outside of you but it's affecting your connection and i feel like more than one person knows about it or this is something to do with like a family unit so um actually before i do that let me grab some energy oracles for you as well tell me more spirit tell me more about capricorn Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Okay, so more confirmation there that things will be made right. Maybe you're the one taking charge of the situation. Tell me about the person that kept the point. Divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny, trust and divine timing. It's on your person's side. Spirit is involved, at least on um, in whatever is going on with them. New beginnings at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Let's see. Tell me more for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. What's going on with Capricorn? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, there's something here. I keep getting all these like Pentacles. Tell me more for Capricorn. Something new, an opportunity. Um, the Page of Pentacles is willing to do the work. And then the Five of Wands. Okay, so conflict, drama, multiple people here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. This could be a job offer. It could be you um, being strategic, uh, studying uh, finances, something like that. Looking at your budget. <laughs> The Page of Pentacles is very studious, dedicated. Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is going to help you overcome some sort of financial difficulty. Or maybe this is the plan. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Three of Wands, a little waiting period here. Waiting for something back. Waiting with expectation. Waiting for a message back. Oh, Ace of Pentacles reverse. So this is probably a waiting period. You're waiting for something to come in. In the form of finances. Why is the Five of Wands here? This could also be a um, an offer of commitment, but I'm I'm sorry, I can't ignore all these other cards. Why? You know, it's it's just very financial, uh, contract, legal. You know, heavy. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, someone's focused, working, putting an effort and time into something. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Someone could be work, working on, work, working on fixing. Excuse me, this problem. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Three of Cups, reverse. I feel like people are getting in the way here. Knight of Wands reverse, Six of Wands reverse. 
I feel like people are getting in the way here. I'm going to put these back because I, I wasn't paying attention while I was shuffling. I was too focused on this Three of Cups reverse and the community card. But I feel like someone's going to try to like... Um, like um, There's going to be conflict while someone tries to fix something maybe. Let's see. Can I get one more? Can I get one more with the Five of Wands? Four of Cups reverse, three of Pentacles reverse. So another three reverse. Yeah, it's almost like someone getting in the way of your work or in the way of you trying to put energy into something. I feel like they're trying to change your mind or, you know, try to be in the way on purpose. Tell me about your person. That could be a family member, a friend, or your person. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do you need to know about them? Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Another card about family, happiness, emotional fulfillment. This person could be wondering if they're going to have a happy ending. Wow, Ace of Cups. They're focused on um, abundance, love, a happy ending, things working out. There's doubt or worry with the Seven of Pentacles. Almost like, is this going to work out? Is this going to be successful? Um, is all of my hard work going to pay off? Four of Wands and Strength. Leo Energy. Okay, I'll take those on the side here. But I want to focus on this Ten of Cups. What's this Ten of Cups? Can you give me some clarity, please? Turn into this Ten of Cups. Okay. Can you get one more? This Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Ah, I feel like there is... So your, per, your person's probably thinking about a certain situation where they need to make a decision or choose a side. This has something to do with family, long-term security. Tell me about this Seven of, of Pentacles. Let's see. They're probably saving their money or something like that, investing time or effort into something. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? Six of Cups, something to do with the past. Could be children. They've probably been working since the past, you know, like they've been working on this. Oh my God, there's that tower. What in the world? Eight of Cups reverse. Page of Wands reverse. Can we have the Page of Wands here as well? Yep. Wow, there was a tower moment and I feel like it's going to happen because of your person or something to do with your person. What's this tower about? There could be a surprise return. A situation where someone where you know again with the impulsiveness the page of wands reverses they do want they say one thing but they don't complete it they they try to start a bunch of things but they don't finish them um, it also can be someone that's hesitating to start something to take a risk to be bold what's this tower about two of cups reverse okay so this this tower whatever it is is going to affect a connection I don't know if it's a connection with you or somewhere else, but I feel like that's your person definitely is going to cause a tower or is dealing with a tower. The unexpected event that we see there. And this, for some reason, is all connected to finances. Um, I don't know why your person has the Ace of Cups. It's almost like they're, they're motivated by what their emotions are telling them or by emotional satisfaction, right? What an interesting reading. I feel like, you know, I'm, I don't think it's going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like it's very specific. <laughs> like, you will know if this resonates for you. If it does, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know that this reading was for someone. 
but I feel like there's definitely been a tower moment and I think it's on your person's side or they caused it or something like that. Um, and I feel like it affected a connection. And now there's like all this fallout that someone has to deal with, the, the, the consequences of that. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it didn't, don't forget to check out my playlist for Capricorn. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more from me. And don't forget to check the description box for links to my website, my book, my oracle cards, and anything else that you want to know about me and what I do. All right, take care.